Here's a great video to help you learn about sorting and matching, starring Spooky Spoon in A Different Sort. In an ordinary sofa, in an ordinary room, extraordinary heroes who are standing by to zoom. Right. If you are sure you are in a sensible mood, <laughs> then I will allow you to look after my beautiful things. Number Jack 1. I've sorted you all with the shapes with straight edges. <laughs> straight. And Zero, you look after the ones that have curvy edges, because you're very curvy yourself. <laughs> These are all the curvy ones. And these are all the... All the straight ones. And this one is curvy. So it goes with the... <laughs> no, you're supposed to be looking after them. <laughs> all right. If you like, we could sort them by colour instead. Zero. You can have all the greeny ones to look after. Greeny. And one gets all the bluey purpley ones to match your colours. Green, purpley blue, purpley blue, green, green. See, now they're sorted differently. All the ones with the oh, same oh, colour that. together. Boo! <laughs> oh, I wish you'd get a bit more into things. Into it. Yes. Oh no! See you later! Come on! Zero and one weren't very helpful with my beautiful things. Really? Well, we need to be helpful now. What's up, Agent 12? Things are going wrong. But not for long. The girls' toys are behaving very strangely. Putting it on screen. <laughs> the toys keep on moving all by themselves. I'm sure it's not really by themselves. Something's moving them. We're on our way. Thank you. And who's it going to be? Today it's number four. Woohoo! We've got a problem, what should we do? Who's going out there? Who do we choose? We've got a problem to solve. Who's going out there? Number four. <laughs> for a four to land on. Found a four. Ah! You are right, four? <laughs> yes. Yes, I am. Better check those toys out first. I'm on my way. What's happening with those toys? Why do they keep getting into different groups? It's very strange. We may need some help from the agents on this one. Agents? 
Why are things making different groups? Agent 108 here. I think they're going into groups because they've got something the same about them. What's the same about these toys? They're all toy animals. Yes, and the others are all toy trucks. I get it. Ah, they're in different groups now, sorted out differently. Now all the big toys are together and all the small toys are together. OK, we're getting somewhere. Sounds like more problems. Agent 63 here. There are problems at the picnic in the park. Problems at the picnic in the park? I'm on my way. Putting it on screen. The people keep getting moved into different groups. Four, there are problems with the people. Problems with the people at the picnic in the park? Don't panic. Can anyone work out how these people are being sorted? How about now? Looks like one group is all grown-ups. And the other group is all children. Yes, but watch out for the groups changing. What's the same about people in each group now? Maybe it's their clothes. Yes, yes. One group is people wearing red tops. And in the other group, everyone is wearing blue tops. <laughs> Whoa! Back to grown-ups and children again. This is really spoiling their picnic. Who could be doing this mean stuff? <laughs> I know that laugh. Yoo-hoo! It's me! Spooky Spoon! Better check what we know about her. Uh-oh. One, two, three. She's mean, she's bossy, she's very cruel. She thinks she's great, she thinks she's cool. She's only plastic, but she thinks she's fantastic. But does she think she is? Spooky Spoon! Little number Jack Four. You've got to stop mixing things up, Spooky. But I'm not mixing them up. I'm sorting them out. Trouble is, I keep changing my mind how I want them sorted out. By colour. <laughs> or by how old they are. So hard to choose. <laughs> But you're really spoiling their picnic. Really? Yes, and it's not very nice. Oh, it isn't. Oh, you're right, Four. Naughty, naughty, spooky spoon. I'll go away now and leave everyone in peace. <laughs> oh, good. Toodle! Well, I think we've sorted that out. Are you sure, Four? Oh, yes. Sometimes it just needs a few sensible words from someone like me. Don't want to worry you, but... Oh, it's no worry for me. Ah, oh, they've been mucked about again. Yes! <laughs> I get bored so easily. What groups are they being sorted into? I think it's by how old they are again. Yes, it is. It's not now. Why have these two been put together? And those two? You'll never work it out! <laughs> We've got to work it out so we can put things right. Maybe it's the things they are holding. On screen. What is it about these things? Oh, I know. It's like my beautiful things. What? The ball and the frisbee are curvy things. And the kite and the book have got straight edges. Great! We know what Spooky Spoon is up to. But if she keeps on grouping things in different ways, anything could happen. <coughs> Spooky might group people because of their hair. People with straight hair together. And then people with curly hair. <coughs> On the road, she might group all the cars together and all the trucks together, and then into new groups. All the blue vehicles together, and all the silver ones. We've got to stop that spooky spoon. I'm ready. Just send me some brain game. OK, 
I'll get the brain game machine going. Brain game, brain game to solve the problem. Use our brain. No way to get your brains all linking up together. Joined up thinking. Getting brain power now. Brain game. Let's get some brain game to stop Spooky putting things into groups. Making brain game to stop Spooky putting things into groups. Wait a minute. There's a problem with four. Oh, waiting for your silly brain game. Are you number jack four? Might be. The brain game's building up. We can't hold it much longer. Well, I'm afraid you can't wait here. But this place is for <laughs> big things like benches. And you're not big. <laughs> so go away. Ah! We've got to send it now. Sending brain game now. Oh no. Four isn't there to use the brain game. <laughs> I'm back. But I need more brain gain. I've changed my mind. I only want green things here, like the grass. I can be green. Huh. Uh, I only want tiny things. You can't get rid of me. Big things. I can fit in with anything you say. Uh, all right, then. A wibbly, wobbly things. <laughs> I can do it. I can make myself wibbly wobbly. Send that brain game quick! Sending brain game. Stop Spooky putting things in groups. No more problems for the picnic people in the park. No more problems for the girl. And as for you, Spooky, we're putting you in the group of things that are a long way away. <laughs> That's better. Come back now, Four. Great work, Four. Thanks. I liked it when you were wibbly wobbly. I didn't. We've got it all on screen. The girls' toys were being put in groups. Animals and trucks. And in the park, the people were grouped by how old they were. All the children together and all the grown-ups. And then it was all the curvy things together and all the straight edge things. Spooky tried to send me away because I wasn't a big thing. But you kept changing to whatever sort of thing she said. Even wibbly wobbly. And the brain game got everything back to normal and sent Spooky to be with the things that are far, far away. Hooray! We've come to help you sort out your beautiful things, three. Great! Maybe you could do some sorting. Sort us number jacks. Can you think of different ways of sorting out the number jacks? What things are the same about some number jacks, but not others? Sort us out in different ways and call the number jacks. Well done, Four. You sorted Spooky out. And well done you! I hope you're learning lots about sorting and matching. <laughs>